We start our story not at the beginning, with the person of Shep Wally, the one man who gave Wilhelm his voice, but with Ben Burt. Ben Burt was and still is a sound designer and an editor for numerous renowned movies, a longtime employee at Lucas Films, where he got famous for his most memorable works, creating voice of R2-D2 and the menace breath of Dark Vader. At the age of 22, a scholarship enabled him to study film production at the University of Southern California. It was during his studies that a single sound effect, a man screaming, caught his ears. It occurred to him that the sound was used in several movies he was watching for his studies. After some research, he found out that the scream was filed at the Warner Brothers Sound Archive under the title, Man Getting Bit by an Alligator, and He Screams. Bert wanted to present something shorter, so he named the sound effect the Wilhelm Scream, after one character, Private Wilhelm who screams it after getting yeah. shot by an owl in the yeah, movie Charged at a bike. Feather River, which was Bert's first encounter with the screen. Ah. Bert had a coat worker named Richard Anderson, and they started a kind of bet to get the sound effects into many movies as possible, as long as they were working. Anderson would use the sound effect in one film, and Bert would answer by using it in one of his films. They were pretty successful with this, so the screen can now be found in movies like Sky Wars and Indiana Jones Trilogy, Willow, Howard the Duck, or Wally, Cars, and Toy Story movie because recently Ben Burt left Lucasfilm and started working for Pixar, taking Wilhelm with him. For about 50 years, the identity of the man screaming was unknown until Ben Burt discovered a note naming a bunch of actors present in the recording session for the 1951 Western movie Distant Drums. It was to become a legendary recording session because it was during this time Wilhelm was recorded. For the name on the list, Ben Burt reckoned Shep Woolley as the most likely actor to perform the scream, but for a long time he couldn't prove his theory. Shep Woolley was born on the 10th of April, 1921, in Erics, Oklahoma. Early in his years, he learned rodeo riding, worked as a rodeo rider until the beginning of the Second World War. He wasn't drafted because of too many injuries he got from riding, but he started working as a welder in the oil industry. After the war in 1946, he moved to Fort Worth, Texas, where he started earning his money as a country and western singer. His experience with horses and being a cowboy led him taking roles as a Western actor in the 50s. In 1951, he is mentioned as a voice actor recording screams for the film Distant Drums. Later, he could be seen in the films like High Noon, The Outlaw Josie Wells, and Giant. Additionally, he was a regular in the TV show Hee Haw and The Muppet Show. Hi, friends. I'm Sheb Woolley. I'd like to meet a good friend of mine. He, he's just a little off tonight, but... Here he is, Ben Calder. <laughs> Hello, all. I see you. In 2003, he died of leukemia in Nashville, Tennessee. But in 2005, a reporter of the Times contacted his widow, Linda Dodson. She gave account that her husband was always boast with his talent for screaming and dying in the movies. For example, as a man getting bit by an alligator. Over the years, more and more people in the movie industry realized that some people used the same screen in all of their films and adapted the joke. On the list are names like Peter Jackson, Quentin Tarantino, and Joe Danton. Later, Ben Burt decided to stop using the sound effect, but through him, the sound effect found its place in the Skywalker Studio Archive. A lot of the sound designers had picked up the joke, so the legend will live on. In a world where over 140 movies already have used the Wilhelm, it is sure to survive.